So it's finally Chinese New Year. You know what that means. Getting new clothes, receiving oranges, your family members constantly asking you why you're still single. They broke a girlfriend or not? I'm trying. But let's be honest, I know what you're really looking forward to. Money. Besides gambling and ang pao, every year there's also the total hong pao draw. In last year's Toto Hong Pao draw, the Group 1 prize snowballed to a staggering $19 million. The jackpot was likely the biggest prize to be won in Singapore's history since 2014. But how's the amount of the jackpot prize decided, and how did it get so big? Let's start from the beginning. This is all the money collected from the sales of tickets collected in a particular draw. Only 54% of this money goes into the prize pool. And then, only 38% of this goes into the jackpot. But this actually still only makes up part of the top prize, especially for the big draws like the Toto Hong Pao draw. There's also something called the minimum guaranteed amount, which basically means that the minimum amount for the jackpot prize should be $1 million. If no one wins the jackpot in a particular draw, then the prize money snowballs. As the name suggests, after the first draw, snowballing is when the prize money rolls over to the next draw. There is however a limit to this as the prize money can only snowball for 4 consecutive draws. But what happens if no one wins at the end of the 4 draws? Well that's where cascading comes in. You see, there are actually 7 groups of prizes in total. Each group corresponds to the winning numbers that matched as well as the prize allocations. The stakes from groups 1 to 4 are based on the percentage of the prize pool, while the prize amounts for groups 5 to 7 are fixed. Cascading is then when the prize money flows down to the lower price groups, like a waterfall. If the jackpot prize is not won at the end of the 4 consecutive draws, then all the money from the previous 3 draws, including the ones that have been snowballed, will then get shared equally amongst the group 2 winners. And if neither the jackpot nor the group 2 prizes are won, then the money would then be shared equally amongst the group 3 winners and so on and so forth. But what happens on the off chance that nobody wins anything in all of the group prizes? Well then the cycle continues and all the money would then be added to the jackpot prize of the next draw. Now we know how snowballing occurs, but why does it occur? Well, because it's so hard to win. To play Toto, you need to choose 6 numbers from 1 to 49. And to win the top prize, you need to get all 6 numbers correct. Just to illustrate how much the odds are against you, to match all 6 numbers from a possible list of 49, considering the numbers don't repeat, there's only one possible combination that can get you the top prize. Now, dusting off my calculator, I did the math. Essentially, the odds of you winning the jackpot is about 1 in 14 million, just like the odds of you keeping to your New Year's resolution. All jokes aside, Toto and gambling in general should be a game that's played leisurely and it's by no means a get-rich-free card. So should I buy Toto? For me at least, I think I have better odds of keeping to my New Year's resolution. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell.